really irritated because I wanted to be cute today. <laughs> I was trying to be cute today. to be doing a full face of makeup today some products I'm gonna try that are new to me they might not be new to the market but they're new to me some are samples you know that I've gotten and I want to go ahead and try those out as well other products are not new at all it's stuff that I use all the time so we don't even need to talk about them <laughs> but I did I wanted to just go ahead and do a full face today trying some new stuff so I'm just going to jump right in. As you can see, I went ahead and threw on some eyebrows already because I'm using what I always use, my LA Girl Slim Shady, or is it Shady Slim? LA Girl <laughs> Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil, and this is in the color Blackest Brown. And I really, really like these. I get these from Amazon, like a three pack for like 12 bucks, so they're not really all that expensive. They're not super duper cheap, like a dollar, but... I like them a lot so I go through those quite often and to clean up around my brows I just use my LA girl pro conceal and this is like a deeper shade I don't know what color this is you guys I know it's very close to my skin tone if not exact beautiful bronze <laughs> this color is beautiful bronze okay now y'all know I can't see okay I'm surprised I even am able to put on makeup but yeah so I just use that to clean up around my eyebrows now I'm going to do something that I never, you know what, let me moisturize first because I want to use this little sample moisturizer that I got here. So this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure I got this in a Sephora sample. So it just says double duty face moisturizer. It has SPF 20 in it and I want to go ahead and try it out. I actually got like a whole little goodie bag of sample moisturizers during one of their promotions it was like if you spend a certain amount you can get a whole little baggie of moisturizers so this came in that baggie I believe so I'm gonna try this out today and see what happens okay so far so good it feels really really nice it just feels like a nice light lotion for your face Okay, so next I'm going to do something that I never do. I always use my MAC Paint Pot for my eyelids. But I see a lot of people using Revolution Concealer as a base for their eyelids. So I'm going to try it out today. And I'm going to take it all the way up to my brows. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll work for me. I'm going to use the shade C12. So it's light, but it's not like white. So the palette that I'm using today, you guys, is another Peachy Queen palette. And this is the Pumpkin Spice. Very, very pretty. As you can see, it's really cute, really reminiscent of fall pumpkins and whatnot. There is a nice big mirror in here, as you can see. And these are the colors in this palette, you guys. Isn't it pretty? Very, very pretty. These are not colors that I would typically gravitate to the oranges and reds and yellows but we gonna gravitate to them today okay <laughs> so, so I think I'm gonna go top to bottom today and see what happens so I'm gonna start out with this gorgeous yellow shade let me give you a closer look you guys see how gorgeous and vibrant these colors are so yeah there's no names on here so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this yellow shade Oh, 
Okay, so I have that yellow down. It took a little bit of building up, which is surprising because the yellow from the Kush Queen palette is very bright, very pigmented. This one is nice too, but I had to build it I up. I think I want to go into this shade here. It's a red, but it's kind of like an orangey red, so I want to go into that and see what... So now I want to go into this deeper red here and put that right directly in my crease area. So lately I have been using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And I really like this stuff. The only thing is, is you don't want to put on too much because it will crease and you do need to like really pat it down i don't know i'm still getting familiar with it but i like it because it's very opaque so i'm going to use this to cut my crease today yellow today as you can see I have on my little yellow top and my yellow earrings so I am going to go into this bright matte yellow shade that I used on my upper eyebrow area and I'm going to place that on a good portion of my cut crease and this is just a matte shadow so I'm hoping it's going to show up on this base bright as I'd like. Y'all see all that fallout? <laughs> I'm not as pleased with this palette as I was the um, Kush Queen palette. To me, this one is not as nice. I mean, the color story is gorgeous, but this yellow, I'm tempted to go into my Kush Queen palette to use the yellow out of there. But y'all know when I'm testing one palette, I'm testing one palette. <laughs> I mean, it's a gorgeous shade of yellow. It's just very powdery and not very pigmented in my opinion. Y'all ever start an eye look and then just be like, never mind. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Like, this is such a simple look and this yellow is just giving me the blues okay anyway moving on um I don't know how this is gonna work out because I do want to use one of these orange shades here I think I'm gonna use this one but yeah it's a little bit satin so I don't know how this is gonna work with this yellow I'm probably gonna regret it but I want to put some of this orange next to that yellow child that's even worse <laughs> Oh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy right now with this palette at all. I'm really irritated because I wanted to be cute today. <laughs> I was trying to be cute today. Oh my gosh, this is not cute. Even though it looks like crap, I gotta do the same thing on this eye so they can both look like crap together. I honestly can't think under what conditions I would like the yellow and the orange shadow out of this palette. The red, the reds, yes, I like them. They're gorgeous, they're nice, but the yellow and the orange just really frustrated me. Okay, let's move on. Um, I'm going to clean this up, put on some eyeliner, and then we'll move on to my face. Y'all, that palette got me so frustrated right now. I'm just like, I'm almost like, just forget it. Do the face, just in the video. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm going to use this new No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul that I got in my BoxyCharm, I believe. Yeah, anyway, got it in my monthly subscription box, so I'm gonna try this out today. 
Okay, so it's kind of thin. I mean, it's it has a thick consistency, but it's not like that really thick, thick, creamy white type primer. It does kind of sheer out nicely. So as you can see, it's just kind of sheering out on my face. The way it feels and smells, it kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, but just not as white. It's just not white, but it kind of reminds me of it a little bit, honestly. So for foundation, you guys, I'm actually trying out this sample that I got from Sephora. Y'all, I've had this sample for <laughs> probably over a month now, and it's the new Hourglass Foundation. It's the Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation Vanish from Hourglass and you know getting it as a sample from Sephora in one of my orders they only have a certain amount of shades you can choose from so I'm hoping this is at least close to my shade this one is golden almond so I probably should have tested this out a long time ago because everybody is doing videos trying this out but I'm finally getting around to it y'all <laughs> this little paddle is so cute and I think supposedly I'm not supposed to have to use that much. But you guys know I have a lot of discoloration on my face, so. You don't have to use that much. <laughs> uh -uh, you know what y'all, I'm a hot mess. That's okay, I'm just gonna bring it over to this side. I like to just do one half of my face anyway, so. I could drag it over here. Ooh, this is bright. <laughs> is that my camera looking that bright? Or, jeez Louise, what shade is this? Serious full coverage. Gee whiz. Yeah, this is full coverage for real. But this is very, very gold delicious. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells nice. It has some kind of a scent to it that I'm not used to. It's not bothering me but I'm not used to it for sure. So yeah, this is drying down super duper matte, but the coverage is really good. <laughs> As you can see, I want it yellow. Well, my face is gonna be yellow today. I'm gonna have to put in some work to fix this color. Aside from the color being a bit wonky, I would have to say I don't really care for the way it feels on my face. I can feel it on my face and it's weird because it feels kind of drying. It's, it's weird. It feels kind of drying but I just, mm, I don't like really, I don't really like the way it applied. I mean, you know, this is just a first impression and this color is throwing me off but yeah, I ain't really feeling it. I don't know why, but I'm not feeling it. It's like, uh-uh. I think I really don't like it because it is just reminiscent to me of paint, more so than foundation. It really just feels like I'm painting my face, which I know that's basically what foundation is, but this actually feels like I'm painting my face. So yeah, don't like it. First impression, just application, I don't like it. So let's see if I can get my face the right color. This is gonna be kind of hard, but I have two concealers that I wanted to try out today. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to try. I have this NYX HD concealer, and then I have the Maybelline concealer that I've never really tried Maybelline concealer before. Um. I think I'm gonna try the NYX. Maybe it'll help even this foundation shade out a bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's like the concealer is actually darker than the thing on foundation. Might have to put this concealer all over my face.
So for the NYX, I actually really like this color as just a concealer and not as a brightener, of course, but just as a concealer, I like it. It's not very full coverage to me. You know, I mean, I am using a sponge, of course, but I can still see my dark circles very, very well. Um, let me just try a little bit more. I know people always say well when you're using a sponge it's gonna thin out and everything but when I use my makeup revolution I don't have to go over it so I don't want to have to use a lot of product when I can just use something that works <laughs> whether I use a sponge or not so yeah it's very dewy I like that it's not drying or anything like that so I do kind of like that. Okay, I don't have a new contour to try, so I'm just going to use my Fenty like I always do. Going to be using this Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. I've had this like for the longest. I don't really gravitate towards quote unquote translucent powders for my face because I always feel like they're gonna be white or they're gonna have a bunch of flashback and stuff. So I'm gonna try this out today. Um, I think I used it once when I first got it and I really liked it, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this for my whole face today. <laughs> I'm not really a sponge powder person. I know a lot of people like to use a damp sponge to apply their powder. And for some reason when I do that, it just seems like it's just extra patchy. Extra, extra patchy for some reason. I don't know why, but I just can't get the right amount of powder on my sponge to get an even coat. And the reason I'm using this smaller brush instead of the huge brush is just because I want to have a little more control with this translucent powder. Okay, so you see how even though I used a very, very small amount of that translucent powder, I still feel like I can see like white on my face. So I'm going to go in with this Black Radiance Soft Focus uh, Finishing Powder. And this is not anything new. I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna go over my whole face with this. Okay, so another new item I wanna try today, you guys. It's not really new. I actually bought this a long time ago, maybe even a year or more ago. It's this Beauty Treats Strobe and Glow Palette. And I think I've talked about this actually in a live that I did a long time ago. And what it is, is it's highlighters, um, like a contour, some under eye brightening powders, things like that in here. Really inexpensive. I purchased this from shophush.com a long time ago. And I tried out the highlighters, which are bomb but I'm kind of scared. I want to actually go into this contour powder and just try and set my contour a little bit with it. So we'll see what happens. It picked up a lot. <laughs> and this is like a cool tone contour, so. See what happens. Ooh, I can definitely see it. <laughs> kind of looks like somebody socked me in my face. Well, it wouldn't be my first choice for a contour powder just because it is pretty dark and pretty cool toned. So it can work but it wouldn't be my first choice because it does kind of make me feel like somebody socked me in my face but on a lighter note it looks like i'm actually
actually getting this foundation to <laughs> work for my skin tone with all of these powders and stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix these two highlighters together and use those to highlight today. So it's not blinding, but it's a very nice subtle highlight as you can see it has a nice gold tone to it and those are the kind of highlighters that I really like the ones that just kind of look like a nice sheen on your face I don't like a whole bunch of glitter for one I have a lot of texture on my face so glitter is not my friend okay you guys let's go back to this palette because I'm not really happy with this foundation or this eye look <laughs> so I'm kind of ready to be done uh, anyway okay so I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring this brighter red this brighter red shade down here on my lower lash line and just smoke that out yeah these reds are super duper pigmented very nice easy to blend easy to apply but the yellow and the orange, nightmare. I'm going to try and take some of this orange shade here, which is another shimmery orange shade, and place that on the inner portion of my lower lash line. Now that one is nice and bright and pigmented. As you can see, there's really no inner corner highlight for me today. So, at least not from this palette. <laughs> so, I'm going to take my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the color Tassel, which is a really bright, kind of shimmery white shade. This stuff is great for an inner corner highlight, but it can be a bit crumbly because you got to dig in there and get some out. So. Uh, it's kind of good if you wet your brush too, but it's, as you can see, it really creates a nice pop. I almost forgot blush, you guys. I don't have any new blushes to try, so I'm using this Milani Coral Cove. It's just a really pretty, like, coral shade, and I'm using that from a blush today. So I'm not really sure what I want to do for lips with this look, you guys. I think I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. lip liner and it's just kind of like a berry shade. I don't see a name on here, so I'm going to use this to line my lips. Okay, and then I think I want to try out this Oprah Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and it's in the color Miami Fever. And I know I got this in one of my monthly subscription boxes or bags and I'm going to try this out today. No, it definitely says summer to me. <laughs> it's a much lighter on the lips than it looks like it's going to be from the container. At least to me it does. Okay. Now, I purchased these liquid gold lip glosses. I got these from Shop Hush during their sale. And these are from, I can't think of the lady's name. It's a collection that she came out with. And Lord knows I can't read this, but... I'll put it in the description box. This is the color Sugar. So this one is the color Sugar. It's a set of four different glosses, but I really like this one when I swatched it. So I'm gonna see how this looks on top of this lipstick. Oh, that's pretty. So this look is starting to make me feel like a summer day even though I'm really irritated with how everything performed. <laughs> so let me go ahead and set this with some of my Morphe setting spray. And this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay you guys, so now I'm gonna do something that I absolutely never do <laughs> because Look, I have some good friends that are also on this YouTube platform and they always give me a hard time. KK, put on some lashes. KK, when you gonna put on some lashes? KK, put on some lashes. <sighs> Look, 
I do not not wear lashes because I don't love them. I love how lashes look on everybody else. But for me, it's a, it's a serious struggle putting them on. And my patience level is just like, uh -uh. it is non-existent when it comes to lashes. Every single time I try to put on lashes, I get glue on my contacts. One is hanging this way, the other one is peeking up this way. It's just, I don't like giving myself extra frustration when I can just put on some mascara. But for these friends of mine here on this channel, one of which being DJ, the other one being Lili, okay? And Bridget probably want me to put some on too. <laughs> But I haven't been being harassed by Bridget, okay? Lili and DJ, this is for you, okay? I'm going to attempt to put on some lashes today. I got my lashes, I got my applicator, and I got my glue, okay? So, we finna try this today, okay? struggle just like I knew it would be but I you guys I do I love how lashes look it's just not worth the struggle for me because right now I can feel the lashes irritating my eyes but I cute though <laughs> anyway so this is for you DJ and this is for you Lily and Bridget I don't know if you care but this is for you too <laughs> so anyway enough of the lashes okay I got them on you guys so just an overall recap of my situation today. I'm pretty guys, I'm pretty sure you guys already know how I'm feeling. Um, this palette, I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to love this palette because the colors in here are just gorgeous. I'm gonna use it a few more times because you know I have all these gorgeous purple-like shimmers to try out in here you know this glittery black but yeah the orange and the yellow definitely would not be my first choice if I wanted to do a look like this again I would grab a different palette for sure but yeah the jury's still out I still have a whole lot more shades to try in this palette but my first impression would be um no uh-uh no <laughs> um no, the you. foundation this foundation, you guys, I don't like it. This hourglass, I don't like it. It felt like paint going on. It probably didn't help that it's not exactly the right shade for me, so that probably didn't help either. But yeah, I didn't like how it felt going on. I don't like how it feels right now, so I can't really give you a whole bunch of reasons why I don't like it and why I don't feel like I need to do a whole day wear, week wear, month wear like it so I won't be purchasing that um the primer this primer this no more pores primer I really like how it went on I like the consistency the texture I like how it felt going on I feel like I would have to of course use it all day use it a few times to really know if it's doing anything for my pores because I've only had this face on for what maybe an hour hour and a half of filming and I can see my pores like I normally do. It's not anything like, oh, my pores have disappeared because no, honey, they haven't. <laughs> but I like the way that it felt going on initially, so I'm definitely going to use that more. The NYX Concealer. This is the NYX HD Concealer. I like it. I actually do like it. I think, of course, I would want to get a lighter shade just so that it brightens and lightens in addition to concealing. I don't feel like it's as good as my Revolution Concealer when it comes to covering. Y'all know my main thing is my dark circles and this area around my mouth here. That's my main thing when it comes to concealer and I haven't found anything yet 
aside from the Fenty, okay? <laughs> aside from the Fenty. But if we're talking affordable concealers, I haven't found anything yet that covers as good as the Revolution Concealer. So I'm just not gonna let it go. But as far as this just being an overall good concealer to use, yeah, I don't have any complaints about it. I think it's a great concealer. It's just not my favorite. This Derma Blend Powder, I actually like it. I do, I like it. It was very lightweight. I used just a small amount. You know, I don't like to just poof poof powder all over my face anyway. So I used just a small amount and I definitely feel a nice set on my skin with this powder. Using it under my eyes, you know, it's just a nice, translucent powder I like it if I don't want to go for the bright yellow powder and I don't want to you know distort the color of my foundation a lot with all kind of face powders and stuff this works perfectly and so I like it <laughs> I like it a lot I really do I've already taken pictures and stuff and I don't have any flashback you know with my flash pictures so, so yeah I really like that powder it's bomb now for these two lip products the e.l.f. lip liner I like it it's not a big deal but for this I hate not being able to see I really do for this Ofra lipstick I mean I like it it's kind of bright it's a little bit brighter than what I expected it to be for this color but I like it it's bringing a little summer and sunshine into my life and this liquid gold um, kind of glittery lip gloss topper I like it I like it a lot I really really do I'm not really into all the glitter lips and stuff but I like it on top of different lipsticks it's very pretty so anyway enough of that I am tired I'm exhausted this eye look took a lot out of me okay these lashes all of that <laughs> So, anyway, that's it, you guys, for today's look. As you saw, it was a struggle for me, but I made it through. Y'all know I'm a fighter. I'm a trooper. Uh, I'm not a quitter. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!